So we've got our two lists created. We have an issue list that has one entry in it, eat, drink, and be merry. And we have our time list, and it has three entries in it, eight, drank, and was not merry. If you see, our first two entries are associated with our issue, and the third entry is not associated with anything. So what we want to do now is uh, set up the default display page for issue so that when we view it, it also shows the time entries that are associated with this issue. To do that, we need to edit the default display form for the issue list. So you go to your issue list, you click on the list tab under list tools, and then you select the default display form. And this brings up the default display form in an edit view. So we want to add a web part to this page. We want to add the time list. You can see it adds our time list and we want to drag and drop that and put it below our issue list. What we now need to do is set up a web part connection between the issue display form and the time list so the time list only displays those time entries associated with the issue. To do that we're going to set up a web part connection and provide row to the time list. So we are telling it that we want to get the filter values from because we want to filter it and we want to match the ID from the issue list to the issue ID of the time list. I'll click on finish. A little magic happens. Stop editing. And now when we click on our eat, drink, and be merry, we see that we have our issue, the eat, drink, and be merry, eat, drink, and be merry, and just the two time entries, eight and drink. Our next step is going to be to overwrite this add new item link so that when a user clicks on it, it passes in the issue ID and automatically populates this drop down for you. Okay, so that's what's coming up next.